Hi, Crab Cakes. We're on a 57th floor in the infinity pool of the Four Seasons Hotel, the highest situated hotel in all of North America. It's the perfect place to stay for our five-star weekend. We're going to relax and enjoy this luxurious hotel, and then we're going to go out for a five-star dinner at a brand new and already Philadelphia's best restaurant, Providence. Come with us. High above the heart of Philadelphia, where history and modern luxury blend seamlessly, the Four Seasons Hotel offers breathtaking views and an unforgettable experience. As you arrive at the Four Seasons, you're greeted by a team of courteous staff to escort you through the arrival lobby to the bank of hotel elevators waiting to lift you into the clouds. The high-speed elevator cars smell like the new leather that's wrapped around their handrails. As you step into the 60th floor lobby, you're greeted by an inspiring space featuring breathtaking floral arrangements designed by world-renowned artist Jeff Lethem. Every detail from the dynamic artwork in the lobby to the guest rooms feels like a curated art gallery. The corridors leading through the hotel private spaces are beautiful and immaculate. Even the carpets smell new and fresh. Let's talk about the rooms. Each room is designed with elegance and comfort in mind. Floor to ceiling windows showcase incredible views of the Philadelphia skyline, giving guests the feeling of floating above the city. And of course, the rooms come with every amenity you'd expect. including luxurious marble bathrooms, high-tech features, and one of my favorite touches, a curated mini bar with local treats. But it doesn't end there. For a truly unique experience, check out their 57th floor infinity pool. As you swim, you'll have unobstructed views of the city below. It's a surreal experience, especially at sunset. And for a bit of pampering, the Four Seasons Spa offers a serene escape. With a variety of treatments, it's the perfect place to unwind and recharge after a day of exploring the city. The spa shop has the best of everything you forgot to pack, and more. The Four Seasons Fitness Center has absolutely everything you could need for a complete workout, including a wall of our favorite entertainment. When it's time to dine, the Four Seasons has you covered. Michelin starred chef Jean-Georges von Richten brings his culinary genius to JG Sky High, a restaurant and lounge with flavors as exquisite as the views, and reservations should be made well in advance. Tonight, however, we're heading across town to Philadelphia's newest and most highly rated culinary experience, Provenance. Occupying a pair of brownstones in Philadelphia's Society Hill neighborhood, Provenance is a hidden gem that has taken the local food scene by storm, climbing to the top of many lists of the best restaurants in the city of brotherly love. We headed down to the private wine cellar, Chef Nicholas Basic greeted us with a preview of the culinary journey ahead. How is everybody? So We're excited. very excited to be here. I'm very excited that you're here. It's your, your opening set of canopy. It's uh, intended to be a crawl bar experience. So in the, in the green bowl, we have a main uni, we have a blue prom tartare, it's dressed with a 
an oil that we make from roasting the heads of the shrimp and then mixing with fermented lime juice and a little bit of kelp salt. And then the uh, little jelly is uh, chojang, sweet and sour sauce. Nantucket Bay Scallop um, with a uh, vinegar that we make from Jimmy Nardello, habanadas, and uh, lemon verbena. We have a poached oyster with sweet potato mousseline and golden ocetra caviar. Count neck clam with induya and basil. And then the mussel inside is an entire braised almond and uh, a condiment made of coriander and citrus. Fantastic. Enjoy. Providence feels special from the moment you walk in. The ambience is spot on, modern, intimate, with just the right touch of elegance. Yeah, right. you gotta pick one the other. That's so funny. As the course is rolled out, each one seems to tell a story. So on the top is gonna be a Boston mackerel that has been lightly cured, then seared, and then on the bottom you'll find Spanish mackerel turned into a tartare with a celery sauce vierge, as well as caraway seeds and um, celery seeds. And then some bone marrow breadcrumbs. I'm going to recommend, yes, a fork and a spoon so you can get all the crumbs. Okay, great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the celery. The celery is really nice. Crunch on it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Celery is delicious. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. The celery. Mmm. -hmm. I like the bits. You like the bone marrow crumbs? Mmm. Mm. That was good. Every single course was paired with its own unique cocktail, created specifically to elevate the flavors. They nailed it every time. Each drink was refreshing and never overpowering, crafted with just as much care as the food. And what we love most, the chef joined us frequently to explain some of the dishes. Beef chew and beef fat that's been emulsified. We have a champignon de Paris uh, puree with matsutake mushroom on top, uh, confit potato wrapped in um, parsley, and then an emulsion of uh, confit garlic and bone marrow. Ooh, wow. Wow. Okay. This wasn't just dinner. It felt like a tour around the world through taste and technique. One standout, the kanpachi, with mussel vinaigrette and Jimmy Nardo peppers. You are so right. That fish is really good too. That fish is so good. The pairing here was a lighter, sparkling cocktail that balanced out the dish perfectly. We had everything from bluefin tuna with foie gras and burgundy truffle to fluke with fig leaf and young ginger. Are you kidding? They master the full range of flavors here, and it's clear each course was designed to give us a new experience. And uh, a very old ginkgo vinegar. Rodney, our culinary tour guide and master mixologist, curated a masterclass of cocktail pairings. And then a black tea syrup that we make in house. Black tea so, syrup? Exactly. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it has a, a little bit of just like a, a touch of that really beautiful whiskey smokiness, a touch of sweetness, but it's really going to pair really, really wonderfully well next to, uh, next to the meat. And then for you both, I've poured um, a Nordic fermented beverage. This will drink somewhere similar again to kind of like uh, effervescent wine in a way. Um, so the main kind of coloring in here is actually from lingonberries. So oh, this is from right. slow in Norway. Um, but then it's also flavored with some lemongrass, um, a bit of birch leaves as well, and then a touch of rosemary. So it's herbal, it has a bit of that like red wine earthiness, um, right, but uh, still remains kind of super, Ooh. super fresh. Yeah, and it just doesn't sit on the palate as heavy as maybe your red wine would. Um, it finishes that. really light. It's, um, it's really, really very, very delightful. Just when we thought we had a favorite, a new dish would blow us away. The radishes 
are delicious. Mm. And the sauces that they add to them, it's yeah. the freshest, it's the freshest tasting vegetables I think I've ever eaten yeah. in my life. And of course, the dessert courses. Yes, plural. From celery root custard with green apple sorbet to red kabucha souffle with canela and long pepper ice cream. The last few courses were a perfect sweet send-off. And the cocktail pairings continued to impress. My favorite was a mix of elderflower and honey. Light, floral, and the perfect finale. Providence 22 course tasting menu with cocktail pairing. What a night. From start to finish, this was an absolute culinary journey. We left feeling like we tasted every corner of the globe without ever leaving Philadelphia. If you're ever looking to splurge on a unique dining experience, Providence is the place for you. This is one you've got to try. Thank you for joining us on our luxury five-star weekend. Until next time.